Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Trisha. I'm so glad to have you. Today, I wanted to share three inexpensive Z Gallery inspired projects that I believe that you can do. And all you need to do is just try. Believe in your ability, try something that's out of your comfort zone. You got this. Okay, so this is the first project that I want to talk about. This is the Mercury Bowl Candle. Um, this is a product that is going for $70.99 at Z Gallery. It's a beautiful piece. However, I think this is something that you could DIY yourself. And I want to show you the steps that I took. For this project, I decided to use one of the glass bowls that is in this eight piece kit that I got from Walmart. I believe it was like $8.99. I'm just going to use one of them. The goal is just to find a clear glass container um, to use for this project. You can go to Dollar Tree, you can go anywhere. Um, we just want to have a clear glass container that is inexpensive. Once I found the bowl that I want to use, I flipped it upside down. And then I proceeded to spritz the glass bowl with water. Next, I took Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect spray paint and I sprayed it all across the bowl. After about 30 minutes, I patted the bowl to get rid of the water residue that's on there. This is so that we can create that antique look. Now it's time to insert a couple of wicks into the bowl. To make sure the wicks stay down in the bowl, I'm going to use adhesive dot. I'm going to put one on each end of the wick. Now I'm going to remove the plastic that's on the top part and just stick it down in the bowl. If you do not have any wicks, you can also go to the Dollar Tree and take existing candles that are there and take the wicks off of those. I've already melted down my soy wax and I'm going to just pour it into the bowl. I added some lavender in there to give the room a very calm and um, relaxing feel. I let the wax cool and let it sit for a day and then I was able to use it. This is how it turned out. I just really wanted to show you guys that you can create your own candle. You do not have to go and buy it and you can put your own scents in there. If you would like to learn the process of how I melt the wax using Dollar Tree supplies, I will put the link to that video at the top as well as in the description box below. The second project that I would like to share with you is this Billet Hurricane that is at Z Gallery right now. It's on sale for $78.99 for the small one and $102.99 for the tall one. This is something you can make and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. You're only gonna need a couple of supplies. So the first one is this magnet container that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to utilize both sides. The first side that I'm going to use is the lid. I'm just gonna take that off and place it on the table. Next, I'm going to take a embroidery hoop that is four inches and it is $1.59. I'm just going to unscrew it a little bit just so I can get the center part out. I'm only going to use the center. Now what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of E6000 industrial glue on the sides of the lid. Then I'm going to ever so gently place the hoop on the outside of it. Um, it fits like a glove. So if you have any glue that is popping up, you just use a paper towel and you can get that off. So I let the glue dry for about 24 hours so it could cure. And then I sprayed it with this Rust-Oleum Silver Metallic Spray Paint. Afterwards, I took another embroidery hoop that is four inches also, untighten it and, you know, just use the inside of it. I'm also planning to spray paint these wooden dowels. They are 0.187 in um, width. And you can actually find this at the Dollar Tree. If you don't have a Dollar Tree, I'm sure it's going to be either in a craft store near you or you can find it on Amazon. Okay, so once everything dries, you want to take the bottom of the magnet can that I was talking about earlier, and then you're just going to place the lid and the hoop on top just to give it some height. Next, I'm going to start gluing the dowels to the side of the lid. My strategy is to add one dowel on one side and then do the same on the other side. The next step is to add the second hoop to the top.
The next step is to add the additional dowels on there. I'm going to cover the entire um, perimeter of those hoops. I decided to space them out a bit, um, but you can do it whatever way it works for you. After I completed that, I just took it off of the container that I had it on. I'm planning on adding these containers that I found from Hobby Lobby to the inside. I'm going to pour, you know, candle wax in there and just place them on my table. And here's how it turned out. The last project I really wanted to share with you, if you have not seen this before, is the Cirque Pillar Holder. Um, this is going for $54.99 and for the large one is $62.99. I purchased this 12 inch embroidery hoop from Hobby Lobby for $1.99. The first thing that I did was completely unscrew the outer hoop and separate them. I only want to use the outer one. Next, I'm going to take one of the blocks from a pack that I purchased from the Dollar Tree a while back. And then I'm going to hot glue each of the embroidery hoop ends to the block. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of E6000 to the bottom of the block and add a little bit of hot glue around it. I'm going to attach the block to the base of a butter dish that I found at the Dollar Tree as well. Now I'm going to take off the base of one of the Dollar Tree plastic champagne glasses and the lid off of a Dollar Tree magnet tin jar. I'm going to take the lid and just place it down and hot glue the champagne glass base on top. Next I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue on the top and attach it to the block. To add a little bit of detail I decided to glue washers to the front and back of the block. Now let's paint. Before I start spray painting, I'm going to take black craft paint and a sponge brush and paint the entire piece. After the paint dried, I went outside and spray painted um, the piece a metallic gold color. And that's it. Simply beautiful. These are three inexpensive DIYs you can absolutely do. I believe in you, just believe in yourself. Until next time, have a great week.